We're asked to uh, discuss the advantages of different forms of displaying categorical data. I've prepared a bit of an answer here. The vertical bar chart uh, is uh, a very common way of doing it and so it's very easily for people to recognise. People are familiar with this form. The other uh, advantage of it is it shows exactly what the totals are uh, by having a scale up the side. The horizontal bar chart is really just the same graph on its side has got also got the advantages that you, if you've got uh, categories here which have got long words you can actually write them in whereas it's very difficult to do that in a vertical bar chart. Now a dot plot uh, has got the advantage that it can be prepared on the go. If you're doing a survey you can prepare this graph even while you're going so uh, you're asking people, I think in this one we were asking them, uh, giving them a statement and people had to say did they strongly agree, agree and so on. Maybe you were doing it over the phone or something. If you get one particular answer you can put a little X and put a little X and you can build your graph up while you're doing the survey. You don't have to at the end of it uh, tally all your data up on a frequency distribution table. And the last one, the sector graph, is uh, also easily recognised, a very common form of graph. It, um, and it shows the different totals as a proportion of the whole. Now you don't really get that with any of the others. You can see um, roughly what percentage of people, say, agreed with the statement. What you miss out on, though, is the actual total. You can't see from this graph how many people agreed. You can see what percentage, but you can't see the number of people that agreed, which you could do on all of the other forms of the graph.